Hello and welcome to my video about ancient coins of Thessaly, Greece. Thessaly was an area uh, in central Greece and um, these are ancient coins from uh, circa 350 to all the way up to about 300 AD. So let's go through each one of them and uh, see their beauty and their sights. So this coin is from Larissa in Thessaly. Larissa in Thessaly was the most prolific of the cities located in Thessaly. Uh, on the front, it features the nymph Larissa of the town. A lot of towns in ancient Greece had female personifications or nymphs that the town was named after. And on the back, there's the, there's the horse. The area around um, Larissa in Thessaly had a lot of uh, good agricultural land where they uh, bred a lot of horses. So they would have the nymph and the horse on their coins. So this is a beautiful coin from circa 356 BC. This is actually one of the masterpieces of ancient Greek coinage as it features the, the nymph uh, facing three quarters to the left. And um, yeah, most, most ancient coins aren't like that. I'm starting out with the coins of Larissa because that was the most important city in the area. Again, we have uh, the horse. These are beautiful silver coins. This one's uh, an earlier coin and a little bit more rare. Circa from 420 BC. This coin is even earlier. Another coin of Larissa. This one features the bull and the head of a horse in an NQ square. It's interesting to note that the archaic coins they had this NQ squares that did in the design. Now let's move on to the bronze coinage. This, this is like the nymph but on the back of this coin is actually a horseman riding right. Beautiful bronze coin. Larissa became the capital uh, city or the city which minted the coins for what was known as the Thessalian League. The Thessalian League uh, started around uh, circa 196 BC and went on uh, to the times of the, of the Romans who controlled the area. This coin features Apollo and Athena holding the spear and the shield. And over here it says Thessalon. Basically, it's it says Thessalon, and um, that's the coinage of Thessaly. Now let's move on to another prolific city called Pharsalus in Thessaly. This coin is from circa 400 BC, and it features Athena. And on the back, you have this horseman. beautiful coin. The, this one features a beautiful facing head of Athena and also a horseman with a s supporting uh, soldier behind them. This is a smaller denomination of Pharsalus which just features the horse's head and the letters Fars for Pharsalus around. This is a Greek Oh. Beautiful coin, head of Athena. This is a, actually a very rare coin of Scatusa in Thessaly with the bearded head of Hercules, right? And uh, the forepart of a horse. The ancient Greeks loved putting horses on their coins. So, this is another town in Thessaly, Scatusa. Head of Athena and a horse riding right. So 
A collection like this is you can't really see in most other places because it's uh, quite complete. But there's uh, obviously a lot more cities. Now get to them, what they were and where you could find more about them in a minute. So this is a coin of Cronin and Thessaly and a Hydria on wheels. Beautiful coin. So we have Athena and we have a horse on this coin. Circa 450 BC. Amazing how old these ancient coins are. Larissa Cremaste. This coin is very interesting. You have to understand, there, there was a couple of Larissas. The, the first one we were looking at was Larissa and Thessaly, and this was Larissa Cremaste. So it's a completely different town. But what's interesting about this coin is that it features the head of Achilles. And on the back, it's Achilles' mom uh, riding left with bringing the, his weapons to him that were forged by Hephaestus, the ancient uh, Greek god of, um, you know, blacksmith god. So Achilles, the the important hero from Troy. And um, the reason why this was uh, placed on the coin of Clarissa Cremaste is that uh, it is uh, mythologically believed that Ach Achilles came from this town in ancient times. So. They put it on their coins. This is a very rare coin. Mopsion, you rarely see something like this. So we have a uh, head of Zeus, and on the back we have a battle between centaurs. Um, there's a whole story behind it, so check out the coin to learn more. But beautiful coin and super rare. There's another rare coin, Pierre Boy. So we have Zeus and we have Hera seated. Beautiful coin, gorgeous. Gerton in Thessaly. So we have Zeus, bearded, and we have a horse trotting left. Falana in Thessaly. So we have a head of Ares and we have the head of the nymph right wearing the sacos which is this kind of like little hat headdress. Fakion in Thessaly. Another rare city. See it says here rarity one. Next. Halos in Thessaly. This is a very interesting because this story actually uh, alludes to the story of, you know, Jason and the Argonauts and the Golden Fleece. So this was the actual ram that would, um, that this guy escaped on and flew away on because he was going to be sacrificed. So we have Head of Zeus. Um, and uh, beautiful depiction there, rare coin. Pelina in Thessaly. This one's interesting because it features a battle scene where this horseman is riding down a phalanx. And on the back you have a peltest, which was uh, these guys that uh, threw javelins with a shield. So, interesting scene showing off the military might of that city. This is of Demetrius in Thessaly, featuring Zeus. And we have a centaur prancing right. Next, we have Lamia in Thessaly, featuring Athena and uh, Philoctetes. This guy was uh, supposed to be a fantastic archer, so that's why he's uh, shown, you know, doing an archery. And uh, he actually shot down a bird who's flying down here. This is a very rare coin. Peumna. Very rare. Ferai and Thessaly. Ferai and Thessaly was controlled by um, 
at certain points by tyrants who put their names on the coins. So this one was by Tesephon and this is a rare ancient Greek coin from circa 358 to 354 BC. Now remember I showed you a coin of the Thessalian League which was over here which was the confederation of different Thessalian cities whose uh, who's, uh, pretty much minting was um, in Larissa. Well, in Roman times, you had the Thessalian League continue, perhaps at least in name only, uh, you know, because they were under control of the Romans, but still the Romans issued Greek imperial coins, which were of the Thessalian League. Notice it's the same scene uh, with Athena holding the spear and the shield as on the coin that I showed you of the ancient Greek times but we're talking about this coin maybe like 200 years after the beginning those beginning coins were so this is interesting because it's a coin of Augustus we have a coin of Claudius see you have this familiar imagery of the Thessalian League so Claudius and we even have Galenus. Remember I told you that up to almost about 300 AD, they kept minting coins. And we have the similar scene of Athena. So where do we go from here? Well, below this video is a link to the article that deals more with these coins. My name is Ilya Zobin. I'm an expert dealer and enthusiast. All these coins that you saw here, they're available for sale. By the time you might be watching this, some of them already might be sold. But if you want to study more about the subject, the most comprehensive work on the subject is this book, Handbook of Coins of Northern Greece. So this is Handbook of Green Coinage, Volume 4 by Oliver D. Hoover. And you could search for this book on cngcoins.com, see Classical Numismatic Group, cngcoins.com. I uh, just search for a handbook and this will yield up and uh, you can get this book. What's really good about this book is that it, it pretty much uh, is super, um, pretty much has every type of ancient coin listed for those mints of uh, Central Greece. See the, the amount of varieties? It's in a nice th thick book so if you want to study these coins more, if you want to collect them. Um, and also, if you look at this references, if it says HGC, um, if I wrote HGC4, uh, this means Handbook of Greek Coins, Volume 4. And um, sometimes I also write Seer, Seer 23 to 2362. So that would be the this book I also recommend. If you don't have this book by David Seer, then and you're collecting ancient coins, you're um, you know you're missing a vital part to your library. So this this is the handbook of ancient Greek coins. Um, let's see. So the, the, this, this book uh, comes in um, basically two volumes that encompasses the ancient Greek world. So it's called Greek Coins and Their Values by David R. Sear. And this book could be found on davidrseer.com. Just click on the books and you'll be able to find it. So get both volume one and get volume two uh, as, a, as the mainstay of your ancient Greek library. What's really good about this book is that it doesn't go so much into depth. But uh, understand this one. This one I have about eight volumes of. The, the, each, each one focusing on a specific area of ancient G Greek history. But these two volumes pretty much... Um, cover all the ancient Greek coinage of the ancient times. So we have these books, so Greek Coins and Their Values, davidrsteer.com and um, if you want to see provincial coins, basically when the Romans uh, took over the Greek territories under their control, like you notice these coins of Augustus and, and this such, this book called um, Greek Imperial Coins and Their Values by David R. Sear, davidrsear.com, moves on from there where it uh, lists the uh, issues. These are also known as Roman provincial coins. This is a nice bird's eye view. What's nice about the David R. Sear books is that 
he has a lot of uh, good information in his books and it's a nice bird's eye view of all the different types so I'm looking forward to dealing with you visit the article check out the coins I think you may fall in love with them just as much as I love these beautiful coins and um, I have a lot more articles below so check out the article and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon my friends have a fantastic day bye bye